You're on a family vacation and just a few hours away from your destination when the unexpected happens and your car's temperature starts to increase dramatically. A quick look under the hood shows that the cooling system's overflow reservoir is empty of coolant, suggesting a possible leak. The clerk at the closest store within walking distance offers several gallons of water to replenish your car's cooling system, even though they don't carry coolant. This raises an interesting query. In an emergency, is it safe to put water in your car's cooling system or radiator? Does doing so put the engine at risk? Let's find out. But just before we start, please ensure you've subscribed to the channel water instead of coolant. In the great majority of situations, adding water to your car's cooling system in an emergency is totally safe. Before proceeding, it's crucial to realize that water doesn't provide freeze protection and boils at a lower temperature than antifreeze. Water should therefore only be used as a temporary coolant substitute. Once all underlying leaks have been fixed, the cooling system of a car should be refilled with the proper coolant. With time, a number of problems may arise if this water is not replaced with the appropriate coolant type. Water use over long periods of time can cause corrosion to develop in a car's cooling system. As the corrosion worsens, rust particles can clog cooling passages and restrict radiators, which can lead to overheating problems. Years of overheating problems may result from the difficulty of stopping this corrosion cycle once it starts. Additionally, since water does not provide freeze protection, an engine should be drained of water before cold weather arrives. Water expands when it freezes, occupying a substantially greater volume than when it is liquid. The freezing of water in an engine's cooling system still carries a high risk of damage, even though the majority of engines have freeze plugs, which are designed to relieve the pressure of this expansion. The stress caused by the expansion of freezing water has been known to cause engine blocks and cylinder heads to fracture or burst. In a similar vein, radiators rarely survive such expansion. In the end, these kinds of problems are frequently much more troublesome than the ones that cause the original coolant leak in your engine. Does the type of water matter? While water of any kind is never meant to be used for extended periods of time by itself in an engine's cooling system, certain kinds of water are better suited for such applications than others. This is because some water types are more likely to cause corrosion and scale accumulation in the cooling system. Ordinary tap water should be avoided whenever possible for these kinds of uses. Many minerals found in tap water act as corrosion catalysts, consequently using tap water in an engine's cooling system can hasten the accumulation of troublesome deposits, which exacerbates overheating-related problems. Whenever possible, soft or purified water should be used as a substitute to avoid the problems that tap water presents, however if distilled or bottled water are reasonably accessible they can be used for the same purpose. Use purified, soft and distilled water and don't use the tap or spring water. Will a car overheat with just water in the radiator? Water has a slightly lower boiling point than coolant, despite being comparatively effective at keeping an engine cool. 50-50 coolant boils at 223 degree F, whereas water boils at 212 degree F. Even though this difference might not seem like much, it is substantial enough to make coolant much more effective than water at preventing boil over. As a result, when a car's cooling system uses only water, the engine is vulnerable to overheating under demanding or stressful conditions. Even though these inefficiencies might not be noticeable when driving at high speeds, drivers should be aware that an engine running on pure water in its cooling system is not sufficiently protected against overheating. Topping up algorithm. In an emergency, water can be used to replenish a car's cooling system, but there are a few special precautions to take when trying to do so. You can safely add water to the radiator of your engine by following these steps. Let engine cool. A warm engine should never be filled with water. Instead, before trying to top off the system, one should let the engine cool to room temperature. Remove cap. Now that the engine has cooled, you will take off the engine cooling system fill cap. Use a rag or a hand covered with a towel to carefully open this cap. You do not want your hands, arms, or even your face to be sprayed with hot coolant. Add water. Any cooling system should have water added gradually so that as much air can escape from the system as possible. The full stamp found on the majority of overflow reservoirs serves as visual confirmation of the fluid level in the system. Burp system. Now that water has been added, it's time to burp air into your engine's cooling system. This is achieved by leaving the engine running at idle while the fill cap is still off. 
it is possible that you will observe tiny bubbles rising through the system's water. Until the engine has heated up enough for the thermostat in the system to open, burping should continue. At this stage, the system's fill cap will be put back in place and water will be added once more as needed. Watch the system. In an effort to spot the first indications of overheating, drivers should monitor their car's temperature gauge while they are behind the wheel. Priority should also be given to determining the underlying cause of the initial coolant loss in your engine. Water should be removed from the system and the proper coolant added after all repairs have been completed. When deciding which coolant types are appropriate for use, make sure to refer to the owner's manual that came with your car. Hope the information was helpful. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.